monthly general message for August 2022. All right, we're going to take a peek into the energy surrounding you the eighth month of 2022. All right, angels, high vibrations for lovely, lovely Libra. Thank you and thank you. We're going to take a peek into hmm, your energy. Thank you for the month of Thank you. Well, for the month of August. All right, angels, what are the messages for lovely, lovely, <laughs> yes, Libra? Thank you. Woo. All right, Libra. All right, Libra, what is going on this month? There we go. All right, so the major theme surrounding you this month, you know, I feel like with the four of four of, of cups here, the major theme for the month, it feels like someone who, who recently came into your world, I feel like they are kind of taking an exit. Now, this could be, this could be someone leaving, uh, it could be a friend, a family member, a romantic partner, apply it to your life as it fits, okay? But I feel like someone is leaving this month. With the Eight of Spades, I feel like this is something that they, they're kind of digging their heels in here. Um, as far as leaving, almost like they've made up their mind, this is what they want to do. Libra, you know, this could actually even be you deciding this is what you want to do. You want to leave something. And, you know, I feel like you've been here before, okay? I'm picking up this energy that you've walked in this energy, you've walked back, and you've walked in it again. But this time around, now depending on where you're sitting, this time around, you're wanting... You're wanting to really, really make that decision to really cut those ties. But with the five of clubs here, I feel like you're wishy-washy. There's a point, there's a part of you or a part of them, depending on where you're sitting, that wants to leave the situation. And it almost sounds like, yeah, I'm done. I'm out of here. I've been down this road before. I've done this before. And, and it literally, like I can hear the door closing or the, or the everyone getting blocked and things of that nature. But then, Libra, either you change your mind or they change, they change their mind. But boy, you know, initially it doesn't feel so great. Because it feels like, hmm, I guess I've done it this time. Or maybe they're saying, I guess I've done it this time. But somebody here is going to change their mind this month, okay? Let's take a peek in your recent past. You had the King of Pentacles with the Eight of Diamonds and the Seven of Clubs. So in the recent past, Libra, I feel like with the King of Diamonds, it represents... Um, a very strong-minded, strong-willed person that's definitely in charge of their value system. They know exactly what they want. They know exactly what they deserve and how to go about getting it. This could have been you in the recent past, or it could have been someone else. And I feel like money was very important to them, very important to them, until it wasn't until it wasn't. And for some of you, some of you, it's I'm picking up that money was way too important, almost to the point with the seven of clubs that it worried you. Some for, for some on the on the spiritual side, you kind of let that go. You know, money is not that important. Um, I'm, I can always make more things of that nature. But this is in the recent past. But if this is someone in your world, I feel like they they felt money was more important. Power is more important. The power that comes from resources, and I feel like that worried you a bit. Okay. And now this could, could it have even been you. Now, when we look in the middle of the month here, we have the Empress card with the Four of Diamonds and the Nine of Diamonds. So I feel like 
in the middle of the month, emotionally speaking, you are very, you're feeling really good. You're feeling very relaxed, very at peace. And what is it about? Yeah, yeah, it's about your security. It's about the finances. It's about your home and things of that nature and having the resources to do exactly what you need to do. If you need to buy something, if you need to pay a bill, if you need to give of your time, or your resources it's it's there okay it's, it's definitely there in the middle of the month now let's take a peek at the end of the month here we have the we have the six the six <laughs> we have the um, the three of swords okay by the end of the month with the ten of diamonds and the Joker so by the end of the month I definitely see you worried this might be worried about a third-party situation that has been bothering you for some time a, a bit you know, and I feel like I feel like this has become such a hmm, like this isn't something new. This is something that has been bothering you for quite some time. And you think about it a lot. And I see you thinking about it actually even more at the end of the month. But you know what's making you feel better? Even though that is bothering you, your resources are intact. You're feeling financially safe and secure. So although your love life now this could be romance this could be uh your children your family things of that nature even though that is still bothering you it's not affecting it it truly is not affecting your resources with the jokey here there's going to be a surprise at the end of the month let's take a peek let's let's do a clarifier what is this surprise that the the universe has for you at the end of the month there we go changes in your emotions things are going to change suddenly at the end of the month and i feel like because you've been going through this for quite some time this five of hearts is actually a welcome uh, energy for you all of this that you've been feeling this uh i've been feeling this way for quite some time it doesn't feel good it feels like a third party situation well by the end of the month you're getting a shock you're getting a surprise that their feelings are changing now this might even be your feelings changing at the end of the month okay and you're like well dora is that for me or is that for them well let's do one more clarifier here is that for them or is that for libra I feel like this is for you. You've gotten control of your emotions. You know exactly what it is that you want and you are ready to make a change. Yes, yes, yes. Now, you could literally be making a change to bring someone closer to you. I'm just going to say this. You could be. Yeah, here we go. You're tired. You're tired of this. Um, it's not affecting your money here. But you're going to change. I feel like, and this is suddenly, and I feel like you're going to get in control of your emotions. For some of you, you're going to get in control of this situation here. And I, I feel like put this energy to bed, put it to rest, okay? Now, when we look at the your bonus here, you have the chariot card. You have the, hmm, the two of cups. Yes, that feels really good. The three of clubs and the king of clubs. So your bonus here, I see you taking a trip, okay? I see you taking a trip and guess where? You're taking a trip because you're wanting to meet someone that you love. You want to get to them really quickly, okay? And you are a bit worried about this should you do this. But I see with this king of clubs, you're feeling like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to do it. It feels right. It makes me feel safe and secure. What's the outcome of this? All right. Let's take a peek. What is the outcome? What's the outcome of this trip? This journey that you're taking towards love? Hmm. You got to have faith. You have to walk in faith. I feel like it's almost like, you know what? I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I'm really not sure. But you know what? I'm going to walk out 
in faith and I'm going to see exactly what happens here. You're walking towards, you're going, you're running almost, you're making, um, it's almost like, you know what, I'm going to throw spaghetti on the wall and I'm going to see what sticks. If this is for me, it's going to be for me. So this is kind of a, a make it or break it kind of month when it comes to love for you. Not that you're chasing anyone. I don't feel you're chasing anyone. Someone actually might be chasing you, depending on where you're sitting in this message. Someone literally could be chasing you. Someone literally could be saying, you know what? I'm going after Libra. I And they may not know how you're going to respond, but they're going to take a chance with you. Now, you know, Libra, where you're sitting in this message. You totally know. And um, I feel like things are going to change. I feel like you're taking a risk when it comes to love to make things better for you. And, you know, this is going to shock you. You're, like right now, you're like, there is no way in the world I am going to do this door. There's just, there just isn't, right? But I definitely am picking up. In August, uh, someone is making an attempt to get closer to you or you are trying to get closer to someone else that distanced themselves from you or vice versa. So expect, expect some lovely surprises this month when it comes to love. Things, how things, the way they were, they're not going to stay that way. Changes are going to be made. Now, I'm going to leave that there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.